All right, so we got Krem's tooth. I don't know what's up with that nuclear bomb thing set up. I don't know. Anyway, let's... I was going to head over this direction and see what's up. For starters, there's Salem, which is interesting. I kind of want to see what's over there. And for secondaries, there's, uh... There's at least a hospital, and... I'm really curious about that, that nuclear symbol. Oh, hi. Themis Cultus, eh? Well then. Let's go give him a go good old creming. One, two. Wow. It's just weird. Probably, oh, well. Probably because there was no music or really noise. It's just, whoosh, whoosh. You know, just two deaths. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And the fact that we turn invisible whenever it happens, too. Definitely makes things a bit different. Alright, so what's the what's the deal with with this area? I see I see a Rust Devil, a Mr. Handy, and a bunch of Themis cultists. Alright. It's interesting that they're all working together, not working together. Wow, that worked perfectly. Glad I didn't immediately go into VATS mode. I'm trying to not do that as much. I, I'm, I, I'm trying to spend at least some of my time outside of it. Unfortunately, we got hit pretty hard there. I'll grab the Assaultron legs and torso. We might actually be able to uh, make, make some good use out of those. Okay, anything else? Some scrap, some scrap. Anything else? Life preserver. Looks like we're good. What was that? No idea. Yeah, a lot of robot parts around here. Which I definitely am down for. Okay. So let's take a look around. We had a we had a couple of Themis cultists around here. Yeah, this is this is working out surprisingly well. Okay, Molotov cocktails. Yeah, part of it is I've I've got a high enough sneak at this point that I can kind of make it anywhere I want without getting spotted, which is really nice. <sighs> Let's see. Okay. Largely not worth it, but I'll take it for the experience. Yeah, my HP is almost back up to full too. That's good stuff. I really like I really like playing this game now that I'm now that I'm like getting a little bit further in with it, it's it's getting easier. I mean it helps that I'm also like ridiculous. And undefeatable. Okay, so is it just this It's just this cultist. I also really like Krem's tooth. It's fun. I kind of wish uh, this game. I like. I like the. Uh... Huh. Crater house. Okay. Uh. So what? Do, what am I trying to get at here? Oh. I'm a big fan of modifying weapons in this game. Ow. Huh. Well, that was different. Also, gotta remember, uh, Crim's Tooth is a, uh, needs to be favorited as my new weapon. So we kind of messed a lot of these things up and we took a hit for it, but that's okay. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not much I can do here. I, I can't go in because I'm not rad proof. I'm also, as far as I can tell, nearly invi invisible. 
to like everybody. The hell? There we are. Small amounts of radiation, totally acceptable. Yeah, I don't want to go down into the Themis Cultist's um, little hovel area for obvious reasons. Okay, there we go. So we've got one more hanging out on the other side. Oh, I see him. There we go. All right, and that's probably good enough. Let's keep heading. Let's keep heading for this hospital, I guess. Actually, no. Let's go in. Let's go into the chapel. Let's figure out what's over there. Should probably heal up at some point too, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna do that. It's uh, mainly it's the radiation that's that's the permanent lasting damage. Everything else I slowly heal over time, which is great. Let's see, is it five for a? Huh. Sorry, I had bandages. Huh. Wow, that is messed up looking. Bandage. Favorite. Favorited to... It's four. There we go. Chained on the other side. It's, it's chained up? Okay, so how do we get in here? Okay, so butchered body. Uh, the problem is stuff like butchered bodies, for example, almost always are related to... Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay, so I might not be able to get it in there, period. Where is this butchered body that I've got the quest for? I guess I can pick it up. Unfortunately, stuff like... um. Okay, let's pick that one up, and let's see. Okay, yeah, so this this area is locked off for, for reasons. So, probably no getting in. We might get the key elsewhere on, uh, on a Themis cultist along the way. But if we don't, it's not a big deal. Un unfortunately, since the, uh, the entire plot is bro broken, uh, there's not really much I can do, except for just continue on and come back later I could be wrong there could actually be like a, a way of getting through and like running into some of these things but I figure either we'll find out or we won't oh what is oh I see there's that anyway we've got a convalescent home kill the Meyer lurks one out of three two out of three Three to three, talk to Barney. Funny. All right, let's see if I can get inside. Well, it lets me get in, so my assumption is there's something in here. I just don't know what. Huh. Welcome to Stanley Cove's convalescent home. How may I help you? I'm checking in. My family filled out the paperwork earlier. I'm afraid I am unable to process you. Uh -huh. Have a nice day. Well, we got Gladys's room key. Flamer fuel and a bunch of other goodies. Okay. Time to start uh, attending to this place. I don't know what the dealio is, though. All right, well, maybe we'll be able to find some good healing stuff in here. I'm always on the lookout for more antibiotics. But honestly, considering everything, there's a very real possibility that there is nothing in here worth anything. I guess a little bit of scrap. But that's the extent of it. So we're actually getting kind of to the point in this playthrough where... Oh, wait, no, no, no. We're still heading for the... Bunker. I'm not going to be going for that yet. Yeah. Let's see. I was going to say, actually, after we clear out the bunker, 
in this game. Uh, I think I'm actually going to get to the point where I cheat up or like just farm my charisma all the way up to maximum. And uh, hello. Perfect. Edwards' is safe key. Of course, we have to find said safe. So that might be a little bit harder. I don't know. Um, but uh, we're getting kind of to the point where once we finish this bunker, I'm, I'm kind of losing a little bit of steam on this. Uh, so either I'll farm or cheat or whatever to get my uh, to get my charisma up high, high enough that I can make a settlement, and we'll actually transition into the next series. Um, huh. Interesting enough, this place is well maintained. Interesting question. A lot of frag grenades. Alrighty then. But, ooh, antibiotics. Yeah, it was worth coming in here. I should probably check every bathroom. Okay, but yeah, so I'll probably transition after a certain point in. Oh yeah, there's just straight up a cat in here. Multiple cats in here, for reasons. Reasons that I probably don't know. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, transition into the next uh, series. Uh, what we'd probably do is just straight up combo this plus zombie survival plus uh, never leave blank. Uh, where old man dude settles down. I don't know if I do it in, fr in Frost or uh, elsewhere. That's an interesting question. Alright, so we've already been in there. Wait, have I been this way? Nope, haven't been this way. Okay. I don't know when we're going to run into more Mr. Handy, so I'm kind of being sneaky about everything. For better or worse. Uh, but yeah, so it would pretty much just be we pick a settlement and we just take up residence. And we finally start doing stuff. It's either that or I start over. Huh. Well, somebody has some trophies here. Another red dress. Interesting. Not enough... Drugs for my taste, though. Nothing particularly useful here. I'm just coming through because this seems to be a pretty good source of medical supplies. Huh. It's a little worrying. There's probably a ghoul nearby. If it's like that, okay. Oh, there's at least one ghoul. Well, that hurt. Okay. Yeah, we'll want a refreshing beverage probably by the time we're done. Huh. Where'd the ghouls come from? Curious. Hostile sensor reading detected. You're not a feral ghoul. That's weird. That is not a feral ghoul. I'm really curious what the deal is, oh, is with this place. Is that the source of the radiation? A rad roach? Apparently so. Alright. So apparently, if you get all the keys to the safes... We get some goodies. Okay. That is actually kind of super tempting all of a sudden. Just gotta go find them all. Luckily, they tend to be a little bit on the glowy side, so it's not so bad. So, question is, where are the rest? There might- I mean, okay, some of them might actually be, like, totally elsewhere. Which would be nice, but still. Okay. Well, let's see if I can get through that door, because it looks like there might be some more, um...
Uh, looks like there might be some more, like, uh, medical things in there. Okay, sick. No, show? Okay, can't be any of these. What about long? Nope. I'm just throwing guesses to the wind until we get close, and then I'll either start doing things. A top, nothing. Many. Gave? Okay, here we go. So it's probably game. Um, but I'd hate to screw this one up, so let's see if I can reset my, my choices here. It's actually surprisingly few. The dead removals. Well, worst comes to worst, I just go for it. And if it fails, it fails. There we are. Okay. Game. There we go. Let's see. Lost save key reminders. Okay. Cat bowls, typewriter, paintbrush, fertilizer. So, yeah, I'll just go back through and... Wow, that is a long hanging out. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like we can go back and grab some things. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to screenshot this for future reference. Okay, and security door control open. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, it seems kind of like it's uh, worth looting this place. Bingo. We just got that. Extra limb damage. That doesn't make... Well, I guess maybe it makes sense. I don't know. Drugs. Anything else in here? No. So, less antibiotics than I was expecting, but that's not the end of the world. It's interesting. Some of these rooms are immaculate. Some are not. Well, there's Mortimer's key. Mortimer has cloth and soap and fishing rod and some dead fish. That all right? Bobby pin box always useful. This is what I get for not being uh, thorough. There's actually good, a uh, fair amount of goodies in here that I just totally ignored. Well, we've already taken care of the. Uh, the lion's share of the scary. So now I guess we can take our time and do things right. Yeah, a lot of ceramics. Yeah, part of the reason why I want to transit. It's upstairs. Yeah, I guess we might as well switch to this anyway. Come here. Come here. There we go. They're scary. Just listening to them go around. Okay, so we already got that. We already got that. We already got all of these. Okay, is there anything over there? I guess one more ceramic uh, vase thing. Anything else? I guess a teapot and some of that. Yeah, like I was saying, uh... It's always interesting looking at the windows in this game. Looks awful. I can't... I, I, I don't know. I can't wait until things look maybe a little bit nicer. So where were we? What were we up to? I've leveled up, which is nice. Keep looking for a second. It's always got to be more that I can work with. A lot of, yeah, pre-war outdated stuff. Glass bottles. I'll have to make a trip down to the castle just so I can get infinite uh, purified water. That seems like a reasonable idea at some point. Okay. I think we already got this key. See nothing in there, so I I must have taken this route through. Well, that's my fault. Okay, uh, so what we want to do? Where were the ghouls coming from? They might have been in the ceiling. Now that I'm thinking about it. Let's see. What we want to do is find the last couple of keys. Not that there are too many. And um, get in there. Keep going. I'm just trying to decide. I guess I can turn on my light. 
Ah, uh, no. D they might have been in the ceiling. They might have just kind of rolled out of places. Oh, they killed the cats. Aw. Well, that's kind of sad, actually. I mean, to be fair, I was kind of super curious why the heck there were cats in here and how they were still alive. The answer is they were alive up until I walked into this uh, building and ruined everything. Whoops. Well, whatever. Let's see, I've already been in here. Yes. It'll take a bit to get get through. Because we have this balcony. Oh. That was just me kicking that around. Okay, so the last one was... Ah, there it is. Okay, hunting rifle. I don't know why he had a hunting rifle. Step number one for an old people's home. Do not let them have guns. Oh, that's a bad idea. It's a really bad idea. Yeah, alright. Well, I think that's the extent of it. And if we're missing any, then I'll just live with it. I don't feel like being too... Don't have the key. Okay, so yeah, we're missing... Margaret's, Ethel's, Can't pick Margaret's and Ethel's. Okay, you know what? Maybe I can maybe I can pull this open. View screenshots. Okay. Because if they're easy to find, I'll go for them. And it seems like it's borked. Thank you. Thank you, Steam, for having a wonderful interface that always always works 100% of the time. I don't know. It's such a weird thing. Like, originally I was, like, super down... With uh, with Steam and like everything it was about. Now that I'm, now that I've been using it longer, it's just like, man, this thing kind of barely works sometimes, and it's rough. Okay. Well, I opened the image and now it's opening Photoshop, which is never a good, good sign. Do I seriously not have like a just a preview? Well, all right, Photoshop it is. I guess I could have just. Gone over and gone over to the terminal and looked at that instead. Wow. I took this screenshot for convenience and instead no dice. And thanks, Photoshop, for now forcing me to alt tab constantly. Thank you. Okay, lost safe reminders, so Ethel. Beneath her paintbrush and Margaret under her fertilizer. At this point I'm just At this point, I'm just, uh, committed for no other reason than because I'm here, I want to do it, and I don't want to progress too much. I'm also really tired. I've been recording too much, and my backlog is not going down. Hey. Okay. Also, these seem to actually, like, have decent stuff in them. I mean, okay, I, I will grant the jet not so useful. But the everything else has been pretty fancy. Handy. Okay, so under her fertilizer. Yeah, there it is. There and then the last one is paintbrush. 203. Oh, we even know where it's going to be. And unfortunately, alt tabbing and alt tabbing back in is now going to ruin my resolution. Good stuff. Okay. I just want to find the last one. I don't know. It's it's kind of a fun little side thing. So let's see if I can see room numbers easily. Not in the slightest. Good. It was paintbrush, right? Yeah, so it's not going to be this direction. Going to be either here or further. Okay, this is the lady, lady with the cat bowls. There's this. This is all meaningless. Okay. This would be so much easier if I'm now stuck. Okay, good. Good things. There we go. Alright, underneath her paintbrush. Oh yeah, there it is. I guess if I had just been thorough and looted everything we came across, this also would have been easier. Because that would have gotten everything as well. Oh well, anyway, we're done. Let's pick up the last safes. So there's pre-war money here, but that doesn't really do me a whole lot of good rat poison. Economy wonder glue. And some cans. You know, playing these games always make me wonder, yes, yeah, drugs like Psycho. 
See, I thought s stuff like Psycho and whatever was stuff that, um... Stuff that you'd actually, like... Or that people were cooking up post-apocalypse. Turns out the stuff existed pre-apocalypse. And that was the stuff they gave to people medicinally. Which is really worrying. I don't know, some amount of me just wonders how... God dang it. Alright. Dang it, Bobby. Uh, let's just go back in here and find somebody's bed to sleep on for the night. Because apparently there's a rad storm outside. Good. Alright, well, I guess we know where at least one of the beds is. R? One of the beds are? Yeah. We know where the good bed is. I don't think anybody's going to be back for a while, so yeah, let's just sleep for eight hours. And then I'll probably eat, drink... I guess we'll drink a refreshing beverage and go from there. Okay. It definitely didn't look like there was a rad storm outside, but yeah, you never know. Okay, noodle cup. Roasted squash. Roasted squash. Roasted squash. Okay. I guess we'll take the refreshing beverage. And I'm properly hydrated. Okay, so those do, in fact, hydrate me. Good. I was always wondering about that. And now we're back to being properly fed. Let's get out of here. Hopefully that rad storm decided to go away. I'd like to hang out during a rad storm at some point and um and actually like deal with the ghouls that spawn because of it. At least I think that's the case. But Am I just getting these rads constantly? I am, I guess. Alright. Well, this will be fun. This entire town is Themis cultists. At least they're pretty weak. Comparatively. And there goes my refreshing beverage. Alright, I'm just gonna creme the sh crap out of these guys. They keep respawning. Ow, that hurt a little bit. And that was my face. And then there's this guy. I'm seeing double, but that's okay, because you can't miss with vats. Alright, oh, wait, we didn't need that machete, I guess. Well, we just killed all of them, I guess. They don't know if the... The radiation is from the town, or the people, or what, but I'm just gonna fight him. Worst comes to worst, we make another refreshing beverage at some point when we're completely out. I don't know. Anyway, let's just run through and see what we're up to. It looks like we've got at least one or two more people hanging out around here. Maybe they're in this church. Church of Salem Deep. Alright. So there's a Church of Salem. At this point, I'm just fighting the whole town, I guess. Can't see garbage, though. Do you got a key? Nope, you don't have a key. Alright. Does it just consider my, um, gas mask to not be on right now? It might, actually. It's an interesting question. It kind of feels that way. Weird. Alright. Uh, I got a level. What, what can we do with it? I could always just put another point into this. Nah, I'm going to put it into no limb damage. Hopefully that will help the fact that my face is having a bad day. Here we are. Barney's key, other stuff. Okay, let's see what this is. The Rook family house. Huh. Yeah, I'm really curious about the radiation that I'm dealing with right now. I don't I don't know if it's Salem or otherwise and 
I feel like I should just leave. This place seemingly kind of sucks. Also, my face hurts. Which makes my eyes hurt. Wow. I guess we could always just go back to that old people's home for a second. Yeah, seriously, there wasn't this radiation earlier, so I, I'm kind of curious about, um... What the deal is. Well, whatever. I guess I'll go back, take another nap, recover my face, and drink another refreshing beverage. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't... it's not... we don't need that long of a nap to get back on our feet here. So this is probably a good idea. Okay, so we got that taken care of. We're feeling better. Let's just... Let's just refreshing beverage. I'm really curious about the radiation. Because I don't think that was right. But I'm also not in a position to really assume it's terribly wrong either. Well, oh, hey, cooking oil. Glad I came back and double checked. Anything else in here that we should probably grab while we're at it? Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, uh, let's get out of here. And let's see if the radiation is still here. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do this on the next episode. So I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.